So, um, Benjamin Netanyahu, literally Adolf Hitler, currently carrying out a genocide, traveled to the US, was received enthusiastically to applause by practically every single US politician except one. Not just that, but he was able to, like, safely travel the entire country with scarcely even a whimper against him, while actively carrying out a genocide. Absolutely insane. I've never seen any more of an indictment of the US as a people and as a country. It's absolutely insane that he's able to do that. What an ins crazy indictment of American Americans. You invite a guy who has murdered 200,000 people minimum in the course of like nine months to give a speech to rousing thunderous bipartisan applause. I have never seen anything quite as bad as this. We could call every fucking word that he says, they clap for it. Every word. Round of fucking applause. Yeah, the Americans are just like, kill those kids. We love it. Keep at it. And you're telling me that you're just going to vote for these people? You're going to vote for the people in this room? Like it's nothing? You're not going to ask anything more of them? You're not going to ask them to please maybe don't give a round of applause for genocide? You're not going to do anything like that? Is is this is that what really what the best that we can expect of Americans? <laughs> Clapping for Hitler. Clapping for fucking Hitler. And these are the people who you, you're okay with voting for. These are the people who you scold others for not voting for. You are depraved. <laughs> My enemy is the American ruling class and the American people. Both. This is what you have to offer to the world, Americans? This is what you give us? Thank you for proving once again that any battles must be fought against you and not with you, regardless of how much you, you say otherwise, regardless of how much you pertain to be taking action. It doesn't even matter if you try your very best. At the end of the day, you're still going to be the enemy. Live, Kamala Harris meets VP Netanyahu in VP ceremonial office, standing in front of the Israeli flag and the American flag, of course. Communism is based. Shake, shake the, the hand covered in baby baby's blood. Shake it enthusiastically right in front of the cameras. And I look forward to our conversation. We'd love to talk about it. Unless you be fucking fooled by Kamala Harris saying Israel has a right to defend itself, we of course acknowledge, we of course acknowledge that this is all because of October 7th, blah, blah, blah. And then you try to give her credit for saying, Netanyahu, it's time for this war to end. I support a ceasefire. In what way does she meaningfully try to make the war end or meaningfully support a ceasefire? She does nothing. Saying you support a ceasefire when you are the vice fucking president of the government carrying out the genocide is so fucking meaningless. It's like Adolf Hitler calling for peace. A ceasefire for a member of the American government, the vice fucking president of the US government, does not actually mean a ceasefire. It means, okay, we think this is maybe not going the way that we'd like it, so we're going to throw out like a meaningless statement to try and make it look like we're not the ones who are causing it to continue while we're still giving them all the arms that they need for this, all the support that they need to keep doing what they're doing. Is she going to withdraw, you know, sanction Israel? Is she going to withdraw the arms shipments to them? Is she going to do anything really meaningful to stop what they're doing? Is she going to just put pressure on them? No, she's not. She's going to say, to make, try to do what Biden has been doing. Try to make it look like he's against what's happening by making meaningless statements to the media while continuing to materially support them in every shape, shape, way, shape, and form. That's how this works. And if you're still falling for it, you're so fucking stupid, it's unreal. The reason why they do it is specifically so that, that, that idiotic supporters, when people who are against the genocide say, I'm not voting for him because he supports the genocide, they're like, um, but she called for a ceasefire. Like, holy shit, it's like saying Hitler called for peace. Well, yeah, Hitler called for peace on the condition of like complete USSR capitulation, sure. You're not fucking calling for a ceasefire while you send them the weapons that they literally fire with and you do nothing to stop, stop them as the world's most powerful economy and military and their number one enabler in every way, shape, and form. Absolutely unbelievable that n n a guy carrying out a genocide in which 200,000 people have been murdered and counting 
and which is still going on right now. Kids, babies are being murdered by Israelis every single day right now in Palestine. And he is welcomed with open arms by Americans. The vice president, who is supposedly against the war, meets him and shakes his hand, smiles for the camera with him. And none of the American citizens do anything about it either. None of them. A hundred years ago, something like this really would have been inconceivable, even in the US. Now, anything more than a limp-wristed protest outside is inconceivable. Nothing that Americans love more than a good old genocide. That's why they're pretty much always either doing a genocide or supporting one. Basically, like, every day, every, every week, things get worse and worse. And it's all because of the USA. It's, it's utterly hilarious how much liberalism has just proven itself to be nothing more than a thin justification to further the interests of the rich at the, at the cost of everyone else. Gaza proves it. Climate change proves it. And um, it's driving the vast majority of people in the world into oblivion, full speed ahead, doing nothing to stop it. And its adherents still wholeheartedly believe in it. The dumbest people alive. But I mean, what more can you expect? It, it's never been more obvious than it is now why liberalism exists, what its very purpose is. At this point, you just have to be a disgusting piece of shit or an idiot to be a liberal. Wow, man, someone mentioned Xander when I looked at his channel. And holy shit, you're not going to fucking believe the f very first video that I, that I turned my head to. You are not going to believe it. Biden's good, and I'm tired of pretending he's not. Biden's base, and I'm tired of pretending he's not. This is his, that's his, that's his thumbnail and his title. Man currently committing genocide is based. Man currently slaughtering children by the dozens every day is, is actually based an epic and skibidi toilet. Joker meme epic. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hit the join button if you're based. How old is Xander Hall, man? I really hope he's, he's like older than like 19 at most. Come on. Is the word genocide mentioned here? Biden, like without really, like I, I hope we get solid arguments against Biden, like like calling him like a genocider or something, right? Like not just, oh, he's old. Uh, look. You made a video where you said calling him a genocider is good and you, and you still decided that an appropriate title for it was Biden's good and I'm tired of pretending he's not. Are you kidding me? There's no fucking way. There's no way this kid is this fucking dumb. No, I mean, he mentioned genocide once. It's here. That's it. Biden has been headlining the calls for ceasefiring guys for like the last six months. Uh, oh yeah, Biden has been headlining the calls for ceasefire in Gaza for like the last six months. Exactly what I just said. Exemplar of what I just said like 10 minutes ago about how Biden makes these meaningless zero action statements while personally doing the genocide himself, sending them the weapons, you know, you know, saying Israel has a right to defend itself, blah, 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 they have to destroy Hamas. Here's um, another billion dollar arms shipment so you can do it. And then he goes and he says, oh, 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 oh but um, um, I, I support ceasefire. So that people like this who can come out and say, I'm actually, Biden called for a ceasefire. Forget how in every single fucking actual meaningful way he's supporting the genocide, but he called for a ceasefire. A ceasefire on fucking American terms, which doesn't actually mean a ceasefire. It means like a uh, uh, humanitarian pause, a genocide pause on American and Israeli terms. That's the only mention of Gaza. There are two mentions of Gaza in this video. One of them is to praise Gaza, praise Biden's stance on Gaza. That's it, nothing. Unfucking believable. It's been like two fucking years since I last looked at a Xander Hall video on this channel and he has not gotten any better. Jeez Louise. Who is Louise? Why, why do we say Jeez Louise? Who is Louise? We should look into that. We should shut down Louise until we can figure out what's going on. Man, I can't take it anymore. Just like, we should have like, everyone else in the world should like geoblock American everything immediately. That, wa that way we never ever have to see anyone like Xander Hall ever again. That's how things should be. Great firewall for the USA, please. Thank you.